Yo, what is good boys and girls, Red Apple here. And today we're gonna build this pretty large solo duo trio base, which is made around my favorite mega simple 2x1 core and features quite a lot of stuff. So let me give you a tour and tell about these things that make it unique. So we've got an entrance on this side and another one on the opposite side of it. If you enter here, it's gonna be an airlock system. And as you may see, it's a pretty nice overview. So that's pretty useful against door campers. Next on the list though, we've got a nice roof entrance, external and internal peak downs, both of them very straightforward and simple to make. Now I'm here at the roof. The roof is pretty simple, but as you may see, we've got an airlock system over here. Now if we go down here, we're gonna enter the shooting floor, which got these peak downs. They're pretty simple, just a single door ones. These peaks are actually looking over the front doors. We've got these ramps over here to help up with aiming down there. And from the other side, we've got the same structure. Now, if we go one floor down, we're gonna enter the internal peak downs area. Now, what's nice about these peak downs, they're very tiny, as you may see. You cannot go through even jumping over here, not even talking about the ladder. And there's a bunch of space for some random stuff. Bubbling stations, they're just meant to be here, right? So these peaks are pretty narrow and you can squeeze through them, which might be handy during the raid. And also the space on both peak floors is separated into two parts by the middle section, which gives you that extra bit of control. And now let's take a look what's underneath the peaks. Coming inside the internal peaks area we've got a couple of garage doors to protect the core and we've got these loot rooms over here there's four of these drop loot rooms two on each side and you can also fit an oil refiner inside here moving on among other things this base got a bunker for some extra protection this time we're using a triangle roof one and it's quite deep in the core of the base we enter the base through these doors and there's a bunch more garage doors a bunch more storage, secondary loot room, and finally a good old bunker over there. Now what is underneath the bunker? Let's hop on a build server and just make this whole thing from scratch. Why? Why am I trying to build? Get tricked. Okay, so we're gonna begin with the most common starter base ever, probably in the universe. And that is a two by one. So two squares, a triangle, nothing too special. Close this off, two ceilings and a triangle thing. Here we go, door made, TC can go in this corner. The only thing to say is that I'm gonna leave this doorway wood because I wanna hatchet it out later and place a garage door over there. Now, organizing our living space inside this two by one, I've added some, if you let me go, please. I've added a workbench, a couple of furnaces and these boxes down here. So this is a pretty livable two by one now. Obviously, we're gonna expand as soon as possible and we're gonna expand it to this base, which is slightly more secure and it's also got a lot of more storage and room and everything. So as a first target, I want to handle the bunker mechanism and I'm gonna place two triangles like that, a half wall to the right from the door, then a full wall on top of it and a full wall over here. I need something to jump on top of. Now I'm gonna place a full wall here, full wall here and a half wall over there. We're gonna block this side of the base. This is our TC room. I'm gonna place a window here and two wall frames to these sides. Close off the ceiling. Two doors go in these spots. And it would be really great to have a reinforced glass window, but at this stage, you might as well use this one. Now, when we go at the front of the base, let's add a jump up. Gonna place three squares like this, and then we're gonna use twig and this temporary wooden triangle to jump on top of the base. Not on top, but on the second floor. Now, let's talk about the bunker. Gonna wall off this triangle over here wall off this triangle over here. But before making the final wall, I'm gonna place a half wall and place a triangle floor frame on top of it. This is gonna make all these walls basically unsoft-sidable, if there even is a word unsoft-sidable. Block this off like this, place a wall frame here and place a wall frame over there and coming down into the core. At this point, we can remove this thing over here and replace it with a double door. Now you can already use a bunker. To do so, make a floor triangle and make a roof on top of it like so. Upgrade the roof and upgrade the triangle to wood. And I'm doing that because we don't have honeycomb over here yet. So if you don't upgrade it to wood, it's gonna stick out and they can just shoot it out basically. If you want to avoid using wood and you wanna just place a twig triangle, you might as well wanna add this piece of honeycomb over here. That's gonna prevent splashing through the wall. Now you can use a triangle floor frame instead. Just place it like that, place a roof. Now in the final state of the base, you upgrade it to metal and just shoot it out when you log on the server. Just for those who are concerned about this wall being soft-sidable, no it's not. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, 
but it's not soft sidable because of this roof being attached to it, basically. I am completely okay with having a furnace as a jump up. Like that. But for some people, it's not very convenient, so you might as well use a ladder. Now, as a next logical step, we want to cover this window and we're going to honeycomb our base just a little bit more. I'm gonna place a wall here, place a frame over here, delete this wall, place a wall over here, and add more honeycomb in along this side. These walls need a second story on top of them, and we're going to close this off on the top. Just to add a second door to the airlock, we're going to place a triangle here and we're going to place doors on both sides. This is going to make sense soon. We'll now come into the second floor. This is our way up. So I'm going to take off this door. Didn't mean to completely destroy it, but whatever. And there we go. We have our roof entrance. Now, before finishing up the stage, I want to do some, some stuff inside the base, and that's going to require me placing a wall over here and blocking this off. Placing this here and placing a wall over here. We're going to have a shelf inside this window, and we might as well have some boxes there. And that is stage two of our base complete. Now stage 3 is all about upgrading and as you may see I've cleared out some space. I'm gonna upgrade to the final tier straight away just so we don't waste too much time but of course during the game you might as well want to go like step by step. So this whole 2x1 here is gonna go HQM in the final stage but we want to start off with the ceiling. Then this room over here, all these walls, don't forget the floors, this this out of all this stuff this is the main wall to upgrade where the ladder is the rest can just go sheep i'm basically upgrading every single wall inside of here please don't forget to upgrade this to sheet metal and this to sheet metal as well this door frame here alongside with this wall and this wall are all parts of the bunker so they all should be the same grade. Coming here to the roof, I want to upgrade these parts to sheet metal as well, as long as basically all the honeycomb in around the base. Maybe not this part. Now, as you may see over here, pretty much the whole base is going sheet metal at this point. The only part which is not sheet metal is basically the entrance. Don't forget that we've got this room right here, which needs to be upgraded as well. To finish off this here step, I'm going to place down a bunch of garage door, basically in every available spot. Now, if we go down here to the bottom, we might as well just place another garage door over here. We'll need something to jump on top of. So, almost every slot in this base is filled with garage doors. Now, you can place small boxes down here and add a reinforced glass window when you log off. So, at this point in the build, this base is about 20, 21 rockets to raid, but we want to go ahead and add some inner peak downs as well as outer peak downs and roof axes. Have you ever heard the sound of breaking sofa? Listen to this. Okay, so for the next step, I'm here on top of the roof and I'm gonna add some windows over here and some wall frames for garage doors on these spots. Reinforced glass window, reinforced glass window, and from this side, we're gonna have another garage door. Now here at the opposite side of our door, I wanna add some honeycombing and an entrance to the roof. You might wanna add a triangle to jump up. There we go, this is the structure. Now going down at the bottom here, let's start making the inner peak downs area. We're going to go to this triangle. We're going to add two triangles, three triangles in front of it and a square over here. Now on both sides, I'm going to add four triangles like this. We won't actually need these triangles over here and these over here. So that's how it should look like. Now let's go to the other side and do the same process. Now it is time to connect the shell over here. To do so, we're gonna place a square on top of the structure and go with triangles all the way along. We're gonna need this here, and that's how we connect it. Just in case you get confused somehow, here's an overall final scheme of foundations, the core is in the middle and the entrance is on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and place a wall frame over here windows on both sides of it and then i'm gonna cover these with walls 
go into the other side. I'm going to cover these with walls and this wall goes to the closest corner to us. Now we need to go higher. So I'm going to cover this with triangles and cover these spots with triangles as well. Now let's put down the second story of walls. And actually a third one right away. Now to cover this whole thing up, we're gonna place triangles in these spots over here. And if we open the door, we can do that through the wall. Here and here. And this whole space is just a two by two of squares. As long as this one. I'm gonna quickly upgrade these to sheet metal just because this is our initial two by one. Now, hear me out, these spots over here are soft sidable, so you upgrade them to sheet metal as soon as you can. This triangle and this triangle. Let me show you from the other side. Yep, like that. Coming back to the entrances, we want some sort of airlock here, so I'm gonna place a door here to the right, here to the left, and a window in front of it. Go into the other side. As a next step though, let's tackle these loot rooms over here. We'll place a wall, place a wall frame and just make a shelf. Pretty much as usual. You want to place some boxes and cover it up with a garage door. Now here at this spot, we're going to just place a wall frame and add a garage door in this orientation. So basically from this point, we need to do it three times more around the base. And I mean here the original design with boxes. But just by the way, this is also a good spot to put a bedroom maybe with an extra gear set for a quick comeback to a fight. Now this spot over here can fit an oil refinery. There we go. There's actually plenty of space here if you think about it to add some furnaces and stuff. Maybe even some depot boxes. And also if you're rich enough, just upgrade your loot rooms to sheet metal. Well, that's not sheet metal. Now next on the list is peak downs, the internal ones. We're gonna have a square floor over here and over here and over here we're gonna have triangle ones. So we're gonna go into the other side, we'll do the same procedure, adding these. Now this right here is a hole which you can drop in. We obviously want to cover that. To do so, we're going to place a wall frame over here and a wall frame on top of it. Upgrade it to stone and I'm going to demolish the lower one. Go over here, place a wall frame, place a wall frame, demolish the lower one. And there we go. Now you can drop in it. Now if you want to really be secure about it, you might as well place down some sort of electrical component. I'm going to do that just for the memes. Now this place over here is just made for bubbling stations. And now let's let's do the external peak downs. Come in here to the roof, we want to mirror what we had down there. Glass windows here, garage doors in these spots. And I'm gonna immediately do the way up. Coming to this side over here, we're gonna have two peak downs and they're gonna be in these spots. We're gonna place a square over here. And we're gonna place a square over here. You need to be able to place a doorway in this position and in this position. So that is how it should look like at the moment. Now we basically cover the rest in windows. And the roof is pretty simple. We just mirror everything which we just did. There we go. Basically our peak downs are done. Let's just place down these doors opening outwards and all these windows. If you wanna have some cooler peaks from this side, you might as well wanna place some ramps over here. They are basically giving you some necessary height. I am just adding once again the same structure with windows on top to have the safe exit, this time with single doors to create airlocks, and that's our shooting floor and roof entrance ready to go. So last bits of advice, I would upgrade all these floors here on the shooting floor to sheet metal. You can also add some doors here if you really want to. Although me, honestly, I will just go for the support system like that. And also upgrade these floors to sheet metal. But that's it. It's been Red Apple. If you like this video, like it and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, why? What? Why? Why are you still here? Why? Why are you still watching? What? What?